Valentine's Star Kitty Clyde explains why playing a prostitute was the best thing that ever happened to her. Plus, learn how to camouflage any skin imperfection. And travel expert Peter Greenberg reveals that the hotel you're staying at doesn't want you to know. And now, the host of the show, Cy Treadway and special guest host, Catherine Hicklin. It's like I'm with a different woman. I feel like I'm cheating on you. Looks <laughs> oh, good. Thanks. Uh, so what's going on, Lisa? Well, Lisa's not feeling well, so I'm no? sending in for her. So I would just like to tell Lisa, I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, feel yeah. better, Lisa. She yeah. will. She will. She got a little bit of the flu, but she's gonna feel better. Right. She's gonna feel better. But I'll tell you though, the little massage you gave me in the back, the little neck yeah. massage, yeah. you almost yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> That's my secret. I don't know. Lisa's got a lot to live up to when she comes back. I'll tell you right now. Those are my magic fingers. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. It's better, it's better than magic fingers. I'm good at that. I'm good. I'm telling you, the, the producers were talking about the show that, that we're doing right now. They were coming out to talk to me about it, and I was falling asleep on them. That's I, how good it was. Yeah. Was, mm-hmm. That's right. It's good stuff. So? Stuff. I actually got a massage this week in Venice Beach. Venice Beach on you the boardwalk. You mean like it, and that thing where you put your face in and, and they... Sort of, but right. this is called, it was called reconnective healing. Monica and I went out and we did a little bike ride and we stopped and we had breakfast in right. Venice Beach at the little thing. And this guy was across and there was two massage tables and one guy had this big picture of the spinal cord and his certificate out. Right, so nope. you feel safe. Right, right. Exactly. Nobody on his table. The other guy, reconnective healing he was doing. He had a line for his table. Well, not a line. It was two people. Oh, so which one did you go to? Well, so, uh, Monica went to the real massage person. And it was just like a 20-minute kind of thing, whatever. She went to that. I went to the reconnective guy. Let me tell you. This is how he did the massage. You lay on the table, right? And let's say this is me laying on the table. He goes like this, and then he goes. He mimed the massage, basically. Oh, my God. He never I hate that. me. He I mimed it the whole time. Like it's, this. Oh, it's called Reiki. And, and I went... What? There's a terminology for it? I know. I'm, you know what? Seriously, it's called I'm Reiki? Done. You guys know about this? Yes. Really? And I'm I I am with you. i got to be touched. i got to be schmooped. I like to be massaged. I like to be... Right? i gotta, I got to have the touch. Yeah. No, I'm not going to be paying for... Anybody can say, ooh. Yeah, exactly. Right? Oh, you're getting healed. Exactly. Like, no, no. How do you know when it's done? I have my eyes closed. I didn't even know when the guy was done. Are you kidding me? I could tell you when it's done, but... Reiki. It's done as soon as I sat down on the table. It was done. <laughs> really? That's right. You were oh, done. Oh, I was done. <laughs> well, so I get up and the guy goes, uh, so how'd you like it? How'd you feel? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. You feel anything different, buddy? <laughs> How's that? Huh? I'm only mining 20 bucks to get deep for it. How about that as I walk away? It's true. Oh, that was awful. That well, was awful. You know that I didn't know that was a, a terminology. It, right? Yeah, and Reiki, yeah. And a lot of people are into it, but not me. No. Right. No, you know, no I, you've got to touch me, baby. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> I used to rub you all the time at One Life to Live. Remember when we'd be waiting to go up and I'd give you a little no, the rub? Right. No, and now I, I give John Paul... I know. You know what? John Paul of Ossier, and I said his name right. He plays Rex. Who plays one Rex? To live. Has not only taken my woman, <laughs> he has taken my law. You guys, you guys, I, I tuned in this week. I'm sitting at home. I'm sitting at home. And I'm in the bed. I, you're in the boy's bed. Yes. With another man. With the same bed spread. I know. Could you bring for a new bed spread? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But let's get to the meat of the watching. matter, if you will. He's 23 years old. I know. 23 years old. Now, is his character 23 still? I guess so. He's I mean, I think he's 21 on the show. But well, how old is Jen on the show, your daughter Jen on the she's show? She's about 22. Okay, so he's about this right But I didn't sleep with 23-year-old boys when I was 23. Because you dated up. Yeah. You like older men. 
Yeah. I know. But then the older you get, the younger you like. Then you like the younger man. I know. I, heard, I, I used to always say older, and now I like younger. No question. Right. But it's very unnerving to make out with a 23-year-old boy when you're my age. Yeah. The first day was hideous. My, I, I tried to act really cool because, yeah. you know, I didn't want to make the kid nervous. Right, right, right. You're like, no, no, no. It's, it's got to be kind of like making out with your mom or your aunt or something, Yeah, but you're right? hot. He, no, you're hot. And, and oh, he's right. You can get away with it when you're hot. Yeah. Uh, Really? Absolutely. Well, that first day, I think he was nervous, too. I mean, we were both nervous. Now, it's like yeah. this. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't yeah, mind. My woman. I know, I miss you. All. I know. What you got going on here? You got your hair sticking up. <laughs> I, right. I got my alfalfa oh, going. That's, that's right. That's right. But anyway. I, but, yeah, I don't mind. I like that storyline. It's very interesting. Very you know what? I said this to you at the lunch break. You guys are, first of all, you have chemistry. The two of you definitely have great chemistry. Oh. But on top of it, you're a train wreck waiting to happen. Yeah, I love And that's that. what I love about it. Because I see Jen, although I did watch this episode, and I, here's why I know it's Troy's loft, because I remember all the times that someone would show up at the door right. and go, Troy, are you in there? Troy, are you in and there? there's a window. There's right a window there. right next to the door where you can just go, oh, there you are. Hey, how's it going? Well, that's exactly what Jen did. She pulled up to the door, and she was like, Rex, I know you're in there. Of course you do, Jen. The window is three feet, three feet to your left. Look in the window, you know. I know. Uh, frustrating. But anyway, but obviously that's, you know. Oh, my gosh. That scene. day I actually had to be under the covers, like, bare skin. I know. You were all. Good. Do you have any idea? That's that. trauma. Trauma. I mean, what the mean? kids got baby tell soft skin, and I'm. Yeah, but tell the truth. There's a little part of you that goes, yeah, baby, There's I lost weight. I'm looking good. <laughs> We're going to get a great show today. They keep pushing this on. we got a great one. Great one because we have Judith Light on oh, the show. Oh, I love her. Welcome, Judith Light. I love her. Judith Light from One Life to Live. Yes. From Who's the Boss. Oh, she's And now from a brand new show called The Stone. Uh, with Kimberly McCullough. Who was just on. That's right. That's going to be great. Very cool. And we also have David Hedison, who used, yeah. to, well, used to be on Another World, now is on Young and Red. So when we come back, we will be right out here with Judith Light. So don't go away. Coming up next, Judith Light tells why she refuses to work with her husband. Still to come, discover what the pros do to hide skin imperfections. Plus, from the young and the restless, David Hedison explains how he was touched by an angel. And before you check in, be sure to check out the secret hotel. Don't let you know.